Hello and welcome. I'm Terry Van Oy. This is my online classroom. I call it Math Class with Terry V. Thanks for joining me and watching this video. I just want to direct your attention to the toll-free number at the top here and uh, my web link. And either place you can find more information about me as a teacher and my experience and how I work with students live in these um, online math sessions. Um, I uh, make it a very interactive experience and it's a very good math conversation. It's not just homework help. It's long term or short term depending on what you need in your studies. So give me a call or go to my website. Uh, the first lesson is free if you want to check it out. So on with today's lesson. All right, this question is from one of my YouTube viewers and it involves some trig and uh, angle of elevation. I am standing 100 meters from an antenna tower. What's the height of the antenna if I measure the angle of elevation to the top as 58 and to the bottom as 56? All right. Well, let's interpret this. Um, the idea is that we're standing right here and we are 100 meters away from the base of this antenna tower. Now, the antenna is this red thing here. And from where I am, Okay, we have an instrument, an altimeter, or something else here where I can measure to the bottom of the antenna, and that's going to be 56 degrees. But if I measure to the top of the antenna, it's going to be 58, obviously taller. So, all right, so the larger angle there is going to be 58. All right. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and call the height to the top of this tower. Let's go ahead and call that H1. All right. And we'll call the height to the bottom of the tower H2. And how do you find the antenna height? Of course, we would subtract. Okay. Now the key here is that we have a right triangle. As soon as you have a right triangle, you know that there's some trig functions. So. Let's go ahead and look at how we would solve this. So what I've done is separate these triangles out and we have two right triangles. The bottom leg here is 100 meters on both. Here it's 58 inches or degrees to the top of the tower and here is 56 to the bottom of the tower. We're gonna to find H1 and H2 and use some right triangle trig. Now at this point, I'm going to assume that you'll remember those trig function definitions. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent is opposite over adjacent. And we think of this as SOKATOA. SOKATOA. All right? So we have to look at what we've got here. Well, if this is our reference angle, 58 degrees, this is the adjacent leg right it moves right into and it becomes part of that angle the h1 that we're looking at is the opposite leg all right now that's true in both cases mm -hmm. so we've got adjacent and we have opposite and so we look at our chart and see what the appropriate trig function would be opposite and adjacent that's got to be tangent so if we have to do the tangent of 58 degrees, we know that's going to be opposite over adjacent. So it's H1 divided by 100. And the same with the other triangle. That would be tangent of 56 is H2 divided by 100. All right, let's go ahead and find these tangent values on a calculator. So for tangent of 58, at least on this online calculator on my Mac computer here, I do 58 first and then I hit the tangent button. Now it's 1.60033, let's just call it 1.6. All right, now for the tangent of 56, that would be 1.48256, let's call it 1.483. So I put this in my equation in both cases, and we would solve for the h's by cross multiplying. All right, now the nice thing is when we're multiplying by 100, we're just going to move the decimal point over two places to the right. Giving me my two answers of 160 meters measured to the top 
of the antenna and 148.3 meters measured to the bottom of the antenna. So finally we just need to subtract these two values and that will be the height of the antenna tower on the antenna itself. 11.7 meters. All right. Now to summarize, what we do is we draw a diagram out and see if we can identify a right triangle because if you have a right triangle situation, now you can use some trig functions. In this case, it was tangent because we had opposite leg and adjacent leg. The adjacent leg was the distance I'm standing from the tower. All right, thank you so much for your question and appreciate your watching the videos. Take a look at, uh, again, my website if you want more information or give me a call if you want some live sessions. Thank you.